a small amount of money in the bank. You call everybody and you complain. But the moment you got saved, that little money, it stretch and it stretch and it stretch. Just like when Jesus fed all those people with the two fishes and the, yeah, because little is much when God is in it. But when you know how to work what you have, it will be more than enough. It will be more than enough. In another version of the Bible, it, it talks about the fruit. Righteousness is a fruit. The fruit. Mm. It brings peace. And it gives you confidence. This is why some of these artists, they said, I'm walking in power. You know, yeah, it's confidence. Because they know who their God is. The Bible declared that when you know who your God is. Yes, yes, yes. They that know their God will do exploit. When you, and I'm going to keep going back to sin because when you are in sin and the same thing that you're going through, you used to fight, you end up in court, you fight your neighbor, you fight everybody. But the moment you got saved and that same noisy neighbor step in your circle, you go in your room and you lock yourself in and you talk to God about it. You don't have to confront anybody. You don't have to confront anybody. When you take off those old clothes. Yes, yes. When you. People of God. It's a job. It's work. It's work. If you see someone and they're not doing right. And they're not living right. Don't criticize them. Pray with them. And if some people have some temperament. Lift them in prayer. They don't even have to know that you're praying. God answer you. Because he knows what's ahead. He know that you're praying because you want to see that person grow. That spiritual growth. You know, Sister Abigail, let me tell you something. You, 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 they, they said you are the ex president. But let me tell you something. <laughs> you, are, you are the ex woman president. You see it from me. But let me tell you, God is not done with you yet. God is not done with you yet. Hear me, my sister. God is not done with you yet. So get yourself in order. And, and, and what this Isaiah chapter 32 and 17 is saying, all is just restoration and promise to succeed. What this right here is saying, you'll be restored, you will succeed. When you walk in righteousness. You know, they have a song that says, when you walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He shares! Hallelujah! While we do His good will, He abides with us still. Hi, I make us so talk. Hey, hey. Everybody can sing. Hey, trust and obey. To be happy in Jesus. To trust and obey. Yes, this is what they're telling us. To make sure everybody in the CFM crew know what righteousness is. That's why Pastor Philip said it. Because we have to grow spiritually. This is 2019. Everybody have prayer requests that God didn't take care of yet. Are you walking right? You want husband. You want wife. But are you prepared to cook for him? Are you prepared to take care of wifey? Are you prepared to take care? Listen to me, people of God. There are some things that's in front of us. And we cannot see because we are not where we are supposed to be in Christ. God is not going to open a door for you if he's going to kill you. Because some of the things that we are asking God for, it will kill us because we are not prepared to take care of it. Spiritual growth help you to maneuver your surrounding. Because if somebody step on the toe in church and you are not spiritually strong, it will cause a fight. If somebody borrow your money and don't pay you and they're in front of you every day looking fly, that will, that's how fights start. That, because
because they owe you. And you are struggling in sin. You want to lift them down. You understand me? But people of God, let me tell you, there is nothing too hard for God. If 